I'm back. It's 2021. Shout out to Baker for this t-shirt, uh, Avid Traveler BW. Um, I'm loving this t-shirt and I'm loving the fact that it fits because it's a medium and Good things have happened in 2021. I've already lost three kg, um, and I'm super excited about that, guys. And so, yes. So anyway, let's let's get into the video. Let's get into the video. I'm ready to railing. 2020 was it was a roller coaster of emotions. It was great on some parts. Um, I am really excited about the new way of doing things. Um, that that is one thing that has come out of 2020 for me. Um, I know it wasn't great for everyone, and I pray and my love to people who have lost loved ones. Um, due to COVID-19 and people who have been really, really negatively impacted it, impacted by it, um, whether it be financially, health-wise, um, or mentally, my prayers to you. Um, I'm grateful to God that I made it through and here we are, we're in 2021. So um, I thought that I would do a story time, speaking of COVID-19. So I wanna tell you guys about the time that I thought I had COVID-19. So just to give you a bit of background about me, I am a hypochondriac and I obsess about um, ailments and health and stuff like that. So I have been really, anybody who knows me knows I have been the mask princess. I wear my mask, as not all the time, look, I'm not perfect, but I try to wear my mask as much as possible. I'm the queen of face shields. I have like a little tent that I have that wraps around my head. We've upgraded. We've upgraded, guys. We have found a solution. I'm now in a net. Um, I really love a good, I love a good mask and I love a good face cover and I try to wear it as often as possible. And if I'm out um, with my friends, you know, prior to getting a little tips, I will really keep that mask on. And I keep myself covered up. But of course, um, as life would have it, the one time, <laughs> well, technically it wasn't the one time, it was technically the second time. The one time that I let my guard down, and obviously it was in the pursuit of Mjolo. I'm 99% positive that I contracted the virus. Luckily I live alone, um, so I decided to just self-isolate for 14 days. And I decided that if my symptoms got worse, then I would, um, then I would definitely go test. But uh, my symptoms were not getting worse, so, and my symptoms were super mild. Um, so I just assumed, look, I'm just gonna ride this wave. I'm gonna ride it out um, because I'm also the type of person is when you tell me something, like if you were to tell me that I have the disease, that is when I would go into you know, epileptic shock. Um, so <laughs> what had happened was, what had happened was I had found myself in a situation where I was getting to, I gotta word this properly. <laughs> getting to know someone. Girl, what's going on? And um, like I said, that is the first time that I've ever really gotten physically close to people. I don't hug people. I don't. <laughs> But this time I was. I've been really trying, close with someone, and um, shortly after I started to feel a little bit sick, and I was like, "Hmm, is this my mind again, or am I really sick?" So by sick, what I mean was I kind of felt like I was just in a permanent state of a hangover, even if I wasn't drinking. Um, I had back pain which I never have. I was severely tired, but again, I'm always tired. So I, I didn't really know if that was that or what, but I was, one thing I was definitely like, I was exhausted, fatigued to be honest. Um, and then when everything kind of shifted around and when I realized, hey, was when I couldn't smell. Now, I've never in my life, I'm not a person who gets colds. I don't get flu. I can't tell you the last time I had a flu. I can't tell you the last time I had a cold. Um, so I started to feel nasally, which was really weird because I'm just not that type of person. And I kept saying, okay, maybe it's the fan in the room, you know, because it was, it was, it was warm. It was warm. <laughs> 
So I was like, maybe, maybe it's the fan in the room, the dry air that's making me nasally. But then I couldn't smell, like, and it slowly, like, it slowly went away. My sense of smell slowly went away. So it was there, then it was not there. And hey, guys, the moment I couldn't smell my own. <laughs> You know what? I then I realized I'm in no pun intended. Um, the moment I was going to the bathroom and nothing was happening in my sensories, I was like, "Yep, it was it. This is how I go." I found myself taking everything. Like I would take deep heat, and I would be like <sighs> trying to smell it. I <laughs> like there was a time I was burning meals okay things were burning in my kitchen because i couldn't smell that they were burning and i'd be in the tv room and like you know the tv would be on so i couldn't really hear um the, the pot you know what i mean and i couldn't smell a thing and i would go into the kitchen and the pot would be completely black then i was like okay so what we're gonna do here girls we're not gonna cook on the stove until we figure out who we are and what's going on right now so i was like okay i'm gonna stay to myself i'm not gonna see anybody for two weeks so the days passed and luckily I could I could slowly start to to smell. But the clincher was the person that I was with um, then contacted me to say, and we had stopped talking for like a few days and I was like, I hope he's not dead. <laughs> then he called and um, the first thing he said was, are you okay? How are you feeling? And I was like, Ra? I beg your pardon? Um, <laughs> I'm, and I didn't want to say how I was feeling until I heard why he was asking. So, um, he was like, uh, no, because I've been going through it and he was sick. He said he was sick and he was coughing and then he had gone to get tested and he's waiting for his results. When I tell you those two days while I was waiting for him to respond to me about his results were the worst days of my life because I was everything was working on me i was panicking i was like what happens if i literally start to cough and i die in my house by myself like i was just going through it um luckily he tested negative and so then i just assumed which is really irresponsible and i would highly not recommend this that i was fine which is really not the way things should be guys um because that's like saying that's like using somebody else's hiv status to test whether you were positive or not so that was very that was a low moment for me that was a really low moment for me in terms of responsibility in life um but look i'm not perfect so so yeah so he was negative and then it was so weird because as soon as he said that he was negative i suddenly started to feel okay like my smell started to slowly come back and i was like what is happening is this really happening like am i really sick or am i not sick um days passed and eventually my my smell came back but i'm really grateful guys you know it's the weirdest thing like i can't tell you how happy what i was the day that i smelled my fart like you know i i, I, I passed gas and i smelt it and i hadn't been able to smell my gas for like days almost week well not almost weeks like a week, over a week when I could smell it, I literally almost cried. I was like, ah! I was so happy because I was like, oh my God, finally, um, I'm, I'm coming back. I'm getting back to normal. And then I, then, I mean, time has passed. Obviously it's been some time now. It's been plenty of time and I'm okay. Um, but it was a lesson. It was a lesson. And you know what? You know, only me. Only me would have gone through everything that I've gone through. I have been to events. I have been, you know, at the office. I have been at, you know, Rhapsodies at MSJ. You know, I've been, you know, the one time, the one, the one time that I meet a man's mouth, his lips, I potentially get a life-threatening pandemic. Only me. But anyway, it's a lesson. Jolo is suspended. No boyfriend. No girlfriend. Because you don't know where your boyfriend has been. You don't know where your girlfriend has been. It's some bullshit. This around, we're going to have to go for tests, guys. It's This is, we're now at a stage where alongside when you get your, S, your test for SCDs, um, a COVID test for me, I think is probably going to have to be, you know, first date type things. I'm not going through this again. I am not going through this fear and this anxiety of 
what, you know what I mean? And I know it's not foolproof because you can get tested today and you can be negative and then a week later you guys meet up again and he contracted it from somebody else. Really, it's it's extremely difficult to to manage and control, but I feel like at least I'm not going to go down the eight to six feet under for some, you know what, like that is not going to happen. Like I'm, I'm, you know, you, on my tombstone, you know, she and she died. Like, no, I am not going to get caught slipping guys. So that was my experience. That is, that, is, that was my experience. And I thought that was an important story to tell because don't tell like guys, I, I really don't know anymore. You can be the most careful person. I can still find yourself um sick you can stay home and get your groceries delivered and you still get sick so i just I, I mean for me it's doing everything i can with masks and washing my hands and sanitizing as often as possible um but above and beyond all that just prayer guys because i don't know anymore i just don't know anymore but anyway thank you for watching my video um and i will see you guys very soon bye